Jimmy, what were your big goals this offseason? Body-wise, game-wise, what were you focusing on? Uh, my goals for the offseason, you know, I was already dealing with an injury, so I just wanted to make sure I got, got that taken care of. And really, I was just training, working, you know, so I could come back better this season, really be better than what I was last season. What did you What did you think of last year? Uh, last year, was a, it was not right year for me, you know. I could be way better than what I did, and... I just hold myself to a higher standard, but I really ain't complete what I wanted to do. So, but it all comes to playing as a team. You know, things are come to me. You mentioned the injury. Was it after spring break that you were able to, you know, green lit to, to be able to practice again? Yeah. It was How are you spring. feeling now? I feel good, and I, you know, I feel good. Got the right treatment and stuff like that. Shout out to my boy Brady inside the training room. You know, he spent a lot of time with me every day, and he got me right. Jimmy, you mentioned how last year could have been better. Have you been motivated by the receivers they brought in, the competition they're bringing into this room? Uh, in life, I'm motivated. In life, I'm motivated. You know, so like that's just more motivation. You know, but I, it ain't no like hatred or nothing in our receiver room because at the end of the day, we're a team. And, you know, and I got a good chemistry with some of the players that already came in. So it just it's just competition at the end of the day. You know, is that competition fueling though? Like yeah. when you're out there and you see Lashante make plays or whatever, does that kind of make you say, "All right, I gotta go make a play now"? Uh, yeah, but like, if the play come my way, I just gotta make it, you know. So I really don't look at it as like, okay, if he make a play, I gotta go make a play. If he make a play, I'm finna run over here and go congratulate him. So if my play do come, then it just go be reciprocated, vice versa. What's the difference with Pat Shermer now, full time, kind of setting his scheme, setting the offense? How do you see the offense changing from last year? Uh, the offense, it got it's it's more like a different tempo type of offense. You know, we go fast, slow, or whatever. Uh, really like it just like more like a NFL pro style type of offense. You know, just something to get used to. I done been a part of different offenses, so as me being a different part of different offenses, it helped me learn how to adjust to it different. So. How about running the football? Is there an extra emphasis you think can be placed on that this year? Do you see that? Uh, I mean. If coach ain't say nothing about it, I don't know if he said anything. I ain't gonna speak on it. Yeah. Hey Jimmy, he's going into your second season here at Colorado under Coach Prime. What's it what's it like playing for Coach Prime? How would you describe it to the outside world? Uh, playing for Coach Prime, like you get to learn different things, you know, off field as being a man and stuff like that. He teach you he teach you things off field more and stuff like that. But really like it's just a great experience, for real. Like, you won't ever stumble across it. It's that, especially with all the different coaches you got on the staff and stuff like that. So, it's really just a good experience to have. You know. How is Coach Shermer a different teacher than, say, Coach Lewis was at this time? How, how does he differ in how he explains stuff to you? Because uh, pro offices are hard, man. It's yeah, a different deal. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of hard because, like, he teaches like a pro style offense, you know. So, it's just really on some, like, you gotta, you gotta show me like how, how easy you can pick up on these plays and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it, it ain't no, it ain't no uh, quiz for like us as an old team because we're a team. So we go try as hard as to make sure we know what we know and we have the knowledge to go out there and execute the play. Does he give you quizzes? Is it the kind of thing where it's like a class and he puts it up on a board? Something like that. But we don't really get too many quizzes just yet because we're in the spring, so right. you know everything don't be solidified until until the fall. So did you see Xavier get his name called this weekend for the draft? Man, I pray my boy get his shot, man, for sure. I done, my boy done been through it all, so I pray he get that opportunity and that shot. At whoever, whichever team you get my boy Zay, man, they going to get a good one for sure. Do you feel your chemistry with Shadur improving as you guys go into year two together? Yeah, for sure. It's for sure improving, but, like, really over the year, over this past the year, like, he learned some of my tendencies. I learned his tendencies, so all it is is more commitment to it. As good as Shadur was, he is. How's he like better like a year ago? Having to learn the offense, having to do all the rest of it. Uh, first of all, that's the bit when having to learn the offense. Like as a quarterback, like you got to know everybody assignment. You ain't just got to know one assignment. So like that just show you like how smart he is and stuff like that. So you only get smarter, and sometimes like smarter bit. I don't know. I ain't in this train. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he faster? Last is one. he quicker? Uh, sure. He ain't been running like that, so I can't even tell you. <laughs> you got a good old lineman for sure, so. 
All right, Brian, go. Just real quick, I want to ask you what your questions are of like Ryan Staub and the back and forth. Like, how are those guys progressing? Uh, Ryan Staub, he doing he doing what he got to do. Ryan will be good. You know, y'all got to see a little showcase what he can do against Utah. Ryan, Ryan, he a good kid, man. Good dude. So he got a lot of potential. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Good to see you, Jimmy.